the inspiration from those matches totally motivated what you're seeing today and what you've seen since then in pro wrestling, particularly with these guys that go out there in the X Division and do all the high flying and, and, and they're showing off. That's what those matches are about. That's what my whole career has been about. I always feel held back when I can't really go out to the ring and show you what I've got because I have a lot to show and my fans know that because they've seen it for many years. These matches that I used to have with uh, with Jerry Lynn many years ago, they they still continue to, to follow me uh, when I wrestle people, particularly uh, wrestlers that I haven't wrestled before, like the first time I'll wrestle with somebody. And it could be here, it could be overseas, uh, in Europe or whatever. So many of the wrestlers may come up to me, they say, hey, I want to have a match, you know, like like, uh, like you and Jerry Lynn used to do, you know, where we can, you know, start out with, like, you know, wrestling chairs. I was like, I don't think anybody but RBD and Jerry Lynn can do that stuff. The reason that Jerry Lynn is one of my all-time greatest rivals that I've had in my career is because of the, the matches that we consistently had and the lengths that we brought each other to and ourselves to during those matches. Now this was back in a time where we weren't making tons of money. We weren't, that wasn't the motivator for this, right? And the first time I wrestled Jerry Lynn, I was at a different status than he was. RVD was up here, who's just Jerry Lynn? Go out there, could have just, you know, like not thought anything of it, but I saw something in him that, that I liked. It was his athleticism, it was his heart, his, uh, his, his, his determination, his fire, and, and I saw that I was impressed. And I saw that he has something that probably hasn't really been tapped into yet. So the first match that I had with him, we took it out into the crowd, we fought through the stands, we went through at least one, maybe a couple of tables, uh, sweat, blood, chewing tobacco, ripped up outfits, everything. At the end of our first encounter, 20, 30 minutes later, whatever, RED's victorious. But after that, the people had this hunger that I shared with them. Who wanted more? The reason that this match is the match to see at Destination X is because this trend-setting match, this uh, inspiration-giving match that everyone else on the pay-per-view probably watched and, and, and trained in, in, in a fashion, you know, to, to emulate what, what they liked about this match, it's going to happen again. And it's not happening like way down the road when, when we're uh, two old folks, legends, doing some some show, you know, uh, that is some convention somewhere. No, no. I mean, you can see Harvey. You see me wrestle Sabu. Oh, what a match that was. You see me wrestle with Abyss. When, uh, when I go get a chance to really go, you see why they call me Mr. Deeper Dude. This match, with all the expectations coming from everybody, and that doesn't just mean the ticket buyers, that means straight up probably to the people that, I don't know, Thomas Edison who created the camera and the movie picture. All that going into this, I'm not gonna let anybody down. And it starts with this guy. I gotta impress me and then everyone else, they're gonna be way impressed because when I've seen what I can do, when I can show off to an extent that I'm impressed and I'm having a good time, believe me, you're seeing what you came for, and that's the whole effing show. That's the next X, that's what you're getting. That's what Jerry Lynn's gonna get. He's a rematch 10 years in the making. The whole effing show, Rob Van Dam, battles X Division pioneer Jerry Lynn at Destination X. We're not done yet. Up next on Explosion, before the bell continues with a special look at the huge X Division title match at Destination X between Brian Kendrick and the Monster Abyss. Destination X, the X Division Championship will be on the line as the Monster Abyss looks to destroy the X Division once and for all. Facing this modern day Goliath is Brian Kendrick. Does Kendrick have what it takes to save the X Division? Tonight, I am going to single-handedly wipe out the X Division once and for all. And this is step number one task in what Bischoff please will be the total elimination of the X Division from this company. Oh, it was a setup the entire time as a fist wins the X Division title. What does this mean right here for the future of the whole X Division? X Division just doesn't matter, and you're the only man that did something about it, brother. Gentlemen, you are the reptilians. We are here to eradicate. If you got something to say, you better say it before I crucify your little ass. Give me the match, Hulkster! That's what I'm saying! 
you and Kazarian go up there tonight, just beat the hell out of each other, ask to vision your ass off, and then Abyss can feed off of whatever's left over at Slam over. You do get it, you do get it. Next division champion Abyss just takes out both men, Kendrick and Kazarian, who are fighting for the position as the number one contender to his title. Your X Division is dead. And this is now the extreme title. But if you both want a shot at me at Slammiversary in my extreme title, you're on. The book I've been reading is from an ancient Chinese warrior, Sun Tzu. And you see, Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu strategized about different war philosophies and tactics that one could use in preparation of and during war. As far as the X Division is concerned, think of it like this. Think of Abyss as one really big, hungry son of a bitch. And the X Division as a buffet. People are, are, are quick to think that this is, is a, a larger man than myself, that this is some sort of advantage. Uh, I don't know since when speed or intelligence hasn't been considered an advantage. Uh, I'm faster than him, I'm smarter than him. He's bigger than me, so he's slower than me. Sun Tzu made the monster abyss, made me realize that I don't need weapons like Janus, or tacks, or glass, or barbed wire, although they are my good friends and allies. But my greatest weapon of all is right here. Sun Tzu has opened my mind. He's got a, a, a mind without empathy. Uh, he has no sympathy. He, he thinks only for profit, uh, for himself, for some gain. It doesn't matter what it takes to get there. He will eat a person's face if that's what it requires, and that's what makes him so dangerous and th so thrilling for me to get around him. I will take you in the ring, and I will beat your ass with whatever I need to, whether it's tax, glass, bar bar, tables, gators, you name it. But now, thanks to Sun Tzu, he's unlocked the greatest weapon of all. And that being my mind. I believe the FedEx is falls on my shoulders. I hate to sound so I, I don't I don't know, self-absorbed to think so, but I think it is important that we capture the belt away from what Abyss is trying to turn it into the extreme championship. That's not what it's meant to be. Uh, yeah, I guess I would say this is very important for, for, for the future of the X Division. You cannot stop me. You can cut me. You can kick my teeth down my throat. And I will not stop. And you know what, by the way? This tea are delicious. <laughs> Brian Kendrick challenges the Monster Abyss for the X Division Championship. Does Kendrick have what it takes to save the X Division? Find out at Destination X.